Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Notes with Mr. Sager, helping you engage with this week's music activity on Seesaw. This is a very exciting activity for me. I've decided to combine create and perform for this activity, and I'm giving my students a beatbox challenge. So beatboxing essentially means you are using your mouth to create different percussion noises. It's a popular trick that a lot of people like to use and see on TikTok, but it also helps people who are in a cappella groups, which means they're in a group where all of the music comes from their singing voices. Typically, in an a cappella group, you have at least one person known as your vocal percussionist, and they are in charge of making all of the beatbox sounds that you hear in the music. So, today, I'm going through the different examples I have shared on Seesaw of the different sounds you can make and the instruments that they match up with. The reason it's important to make sure you've got the right sound is to give the illusion that your voice is making that instrument's noise. It's what gives a cappella groups that interesting sound that they have a percussion section even when they don't actually. There are a lot of really professional beatboxers out there that are incredible at what they do. I'm not one of them. So, for me, this is more of a learning experience as well, and I hope that a lot of my friends here at Dr. Weeks will join me in this experience. I think beatboxing is a lot of fun, and I think it's a cool way to keep yourself engaged with music without having to use an instrument or anything like that. Everything you can do, you can use with your mouth. So. When you look at the activity on Seesaw, there's an attached document that has a bunch of different sounds you can look through. I'm going to go down the list, and I'm going to share a couple different examples with you. The first one at the top is the bass drum. You can use it by making the sound or B or B-U-H for B. So that gives you that low sound. Your next one and the next one below that one both have T-S. One is short and one is long. So this is for the instrument hi-hat. When you look at the picture, there's one where the two are stacked together and they're closed, and there's one where there's a little space in between. On a drum set, the difference is how long the sound rings for. So when they're closed, it's short. But when it's open, it can ring for a little bit longer. Your next one is the snare drum. This one you use by combining the letters P and F. So when I put them together, I go And I use a lot of air to make that one. Now, as you make these sounds, you might notice that you're spitting a little bit. That's normal. So make sure when you're working on this activity and you're practicing these sounds, you've got enough space around you so you're not accidentally spitting on anybody. Your next one says a rim shot. That's when you take your drumstick and you hit it on the side of the snare drum. It sounds kind of like the letter K. Underneath that one, I have a splash symbol. This is kind of a big symbol that makes a really wide sound. So you see P and then sh. That one usually goes for a little bit longer. Underneath that is my last one, crash symbol. Now, this one is an interesting one because the word almost looks like a real word. But to make that sound, you're just going ch, ch. And how long you want to ring for depends on how much air you put into your lungs. Ch. It's a little different than psh. So make sure you hear those differences. Remember, when you're listening, you're listening for which ones are your favorites. Now, to create your beat, it's important to make sure that you have a steady beat going. When I like to keep a steady beat, I can sometimes pat it. But for some of us, it might be easier if we can really hear it. So if you want, for this activity, you can pick a song that has a steady beat, and you can line your rhythm up with that. Now, here's a few extra tricks to help you with your beatbox rhythm. One really simple rhythm that you can create is something that people call boots and cats. The reason they call it that is because when you say them together, it sounds like you're making a beatbox rhythm. If you break it down to the sounds that I've listed, you've got your snare drum, you've got your hi-hat closed, you've got your rim shot, and then your hi-hat closed again. So that's a really simple rhythm that you can use to get you started. Remember, when you're practicing your rhythm, always start it slow. You don't need to go right into as 
fast as you possibly can. That's where you start to make mistakes. That's where you might get frustrated. So always start slow. Once you've got that basic down, then you can speed it up. It can go as fast as you want. It can go as slow as you want. There's no rule on how fast or slow your rhythm has to be. To finish the activity, make sure you share with me what sounds you used, especially if there's one that's not listed. I'm always interested to see which one of my friends at Dr. Weeks can use that creative mind and make their own sound. So if you've got a sound that you used that I didn't share, share it with me so I can share it with the next group of friends who might want to do this activity. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's rhythms. Remember, you can use your recording for just audio or you can do video. Either one works with me. If you have any questions, make sure you send me an email. Have fun this week, everybody. Get creative.